Hey nerds, welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts. Today we're going to react to Love, Death, and Robots Swarm. I pressed record and then realized I had to pee, but now I'm here. We have 17 minutes together, maybe even probably less than that actually, probably like 15, because you know they got two minutes of credits. About 15 minutes. You want to watch that? Uninterrupted? No commentary? No reaction? Cool, go to Netflix. Jerry's going to do his best work behind the scenes. You and I, we're going to hang out and watch some Swarm, baby. Let's get it. I don't think I did the intro, but hey, there's links and stuff. To heart, heart, Cthulhu. What bonus does that give you? This is right after episode eight when they when they light speed it into that thing, which is still the only good part of that movie. I know he's got his boxers on. My brother kind of looked a little bit like uh, like Sam Wilson. Nah, eh, not, not really. Hey, just at first glance. You up here swimming with some shrimp? And I, you. It's good to see another human face. And please, call me Galena. Don't be alarmed. It will convey your pheromones to the queen. Otherwise, you might be considered an invader and killed. I followed your study of the swarm with tremendous interest, Doctor. But I had no idea you'd learn to communicate with them. Not exactly. I found no swarm cast in this language, but several symbiote species still do. I call these springtails. I believe okay. they were once a spacefaring race who discovered the swarm and were absorbed by it. Now they are a little more than parasitic savages. Oh, all right. Well, that makes a little bit more sense. Uh, how, are you like in water? Is this just because there's no gravity? I don't understand why you're floating and swimming and shit. How can you breathe? Is it because that jellyfish is closed in, like oxygen and shit's trapped in here? Fermentation in the worker's gut adds nutritional value. Makes it taste better, too. You eating fucking crab vomit. Shrimp crab vomit. And if I'm sitting there eating and you come knock on my head, I'm gonna throw up too, bro. It's fucking rude. Very deadly. But only if you mean harm to the queen and her eggs. Yeah, they came up and said, better not do nothing stupid. <laughs> better keep looking straight ahead. <laughs> spring will build a new nest they would be useless without the nest's pheromones to control them mm, artificial thing this would pass the investor quarantine inside is a selection of the swarm pheromones we synthesize based on your samples if these work we could control millions of workers armies of warriors you we are planning to breed a slave race uh, literally you said yourself they aren't sentient they're organic machines it's not as if they'd be staring up at the stars, pining for their freedom. If I'm these little bugs, bro, and I'm hearing y'all speak for the first time, I'm gonna be like, can y'all shut the fuck up? I'm trying to move one egg to this place, to this side, and eat some kelp. That's my whole function. I'm gonna do it for the rest of my life. Please shut the fuck up and let me do it in silence. It's true. Don't agree to it. You give up one egg, then fucking, they're gonna attack you. Oh. <laughs> Watch that hand, bro. Oh my goodness, going for a little skirt thing. Oh, he pulled it off. Warm ebb and flow of life. Even flow. Flows the one life butterflies. Oh, he don't know. So he chases them away yeah. food giver no good not fed take me to her is she lego my ego prego this brother done learn the fucking language down there oh watch out for the warrior rip their fucking head off damn son Come on, then. You 
mindless motherfuckers! I was just about to say, bro, you may have killed one, but you ain't taken on a whole gaffle of them, or did you? Oh no, they just got you unkind. They just beat you up, bro, and taking you back. Damn, son, they done fucking. You may address me as the queen. Swore. That's swore. She done became a hive mind for that fucking thing, bro. They done grew a whole brain. Litter the scavenger feeding on your rock. Two million years ago, its ancestors made the galaxy tremble. When they attacked the swarm, we bred smarter, tougher versions of their own race to fight them. Damn, that's cold bloody. Our nests were the only world they'd known. I'll kill myself. In which case, I would simply clone you and raise the children myself. Wow. And so I offer you a choice. Remain an intelligent living being or... <gasps> Galena in there fighting for her life. You accept my offer, Doctor. Holy shit. I accept your challenge. We won't become parasites. Humans are different. Of course you are. I'm glad I won't have to absorb you. I would have missed your conversation. What the fuck? I don't. So he's just gonna fucking challenge the swarm is what I'm getting. There goes the human race because one fuck boy this is the fucking but this is the thing, bro. Two human scientists study the secrets of an ancient alien entity, but soon learn the horrible price of survival in the hostile universe. She bred their own people and made them fight against each other. That's cold-blooded. And now she's saying, hey, if you kill yourself, I'm just going to take you and breed you myself. And then... What? I don't have nothing to say at the end of this. This reminds me of the flood from Halo a little bit, and I vibe with that, I guess. But Swarm... I want to I want to know more about that. I want to know their history. I want to know where that goes in the future, how that shit plays out. That one has my interest. It's peaked. This intelligent thing is just a couple of weeks old that it yeah, how did it get her? How did she get Where's the queen? I thought the queen was going to be a more important. I have so many fucking questions it's not going to get answered. My head hurts, bro. I got to I got to end the video. I got to pee so bad. My brain hurts. I don't know what's going on. That was very interesting, by the way. He accepts the challenge, bro. I just live there with you forever. Eat fucking snail vomit. Who gives a shit? I'm heading out. Links and everything will be in the description box down below. You guys can tell me what you think about the episode. My fucking brain hurts. Playlist will be up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated. I'll catch you on the next one.